Lost and Gold Rock is to generate a pipeline of oil, gas, campus, and other performance through the provision of modern sports and events facility within a professionally managed environment, which also delivers a great experience and benefits to other users, fans, and other communities. It is a mission to which we are all totally committed and one which we will try to deliver on. What we are experiencing today is a learning expectation of this commitment. We therefore enjoy you to share in this commitment in order that we may lift the city and other lesser founders to higher heights. The TSC National Open Swimming Championship offers a great opportunity to deliver on our commitment, which is why we have owned this as, as a product. Karina, it is good to note that there are several other products which will come up for corporate entities and individuals to own too. All we can say is that you are expected to accept the opportunity to show your commitment when it comes. At this point, ladies and gentlemen, may I invite the managing director of transport and forum, Mr. Ampon Sandaka, and the president of the Association, it is my honor to declare the Google International Book Building Lounge and also TSDL National Open Swimming Championship 2020 Dewey Open. We are glad to be here to support this function. It is clear that the Ghana Swimming Association is doing its best to develop swimming in this country. It is also clear that they are contributing their quota to the development of the youth of this country. And as the Ghana Olympic Committee have been doing over the years, we will not relent on our effort of supporting all the national federations, which includes the Ghana Student Association. We are happy that all the supporting in the sports federations, which includes the Ghana Student Association, is yielding some results. And we hope that very soon the Student Association will be producing world class students. Thank you. God bless you.
cute. I will. We are just grooming them for the Commission Olympics and as future we know we'll get some of them to go to the competition. We are telling Ghana's team that if they can do more in uh, competition coming days and I hope they will prove in their time too that we start the competition too. I feel so excited in Ghana that we are winning two competitions in Ghana because at all we have the best swimmer in the world, the best swimming team in the world. And we have Ghana swimming too that are competing in this gym too in Africa. And I hope we we'll do the best for Africa. Go, Ivan! Go! Go! Go!
name is Naima. I feel happy. We can try to do better. Um, I feel good that yeah, we won a silver medal. But I think next time we can do better. Um, I feel happy um, that we keep trying our best. Myra. Madison. Abba. Adoma. I feel very happy and excited for winning this. Um, proud and happy. Uh, I feel very proud and happy too. I feel proud of myself and my teammates. Um, another gold. More gold, not another one. Gold forever. Gold. More gold.
constant training. We focus on training, we focus on their mental disposition, and we focus on their diet. Well, the B qualification has gone up, and we are trying to make it. So on, on um, 5th to 7th uh, March, when we have the Zone 2 seniors competition right here in Accra, we would look at whether he's reached a point where we can confidently say that, go to bed, he has qualified for the Olympics. I'm their father and I'm the head coach. And as a head coach, because you're asking me about swimmers, as a head coach, I'll tell you that we'll do everything possible to qualify for the Olympics. Yes, I'm sure that the Jacksons are in the 15 and over category, but when you drop to the lower categories, you saw a lot of uh, fantastic swimmers in the different eight categories. The, the focus is to make sure that different age groups have very good swimmers and we can produce swimmer, as, as they say now in Ghana, swimmer after swimmer after swimmer after swimmer, so that we'll have generations of fantastic swimmers. It's a hobby. And when it's a hobby, you love the pressure. The pressure is good. It is pressure that forces the kids to perform. So yes, there will be pressure. But at the same time, the pressure is not supposed to be on the kids for medals. It is on them to improve their performance. Once they, that you t we take off the pressure of go get a medal, go qualify, and we turn it to go do your best, they deliver. I sincerely believe that in 2023, one of the sports that will make Ghana proud will be swimming. Don't take my word, be here then and watch it. I'll say it's world class. I'm the marketing consultant for Transports and Pro. Our expectations are that the public would throng to this place, that they will come and see for themselves Ghana's first attempt at holding the swimming competition at the highest level, that we have the facilities for it, we have the men for it, and we need the fans behind us to win medals. So we just don't host for the fun of it. Okay, the idea behind this whole place is to have a complex which provides facilities which cater to lesser funded sports because they are not lesser known. It's just that we don't apply a lot of funds to them. So then, then the, other, the, other, the point that comes up is what and which, which, which of the disciplines are you going to have here? And the swimming pool was the most unlikely of them all. Because for the other others, you can set up somewhere to box, you can set up somewhere for volleyball, basketball, and so on and so forth. And when the idea of the swimming pool came about, there were challenges. Because not many people know that from about the middle line to the end was reclaimed land from the lagoon. Okay, so the engineers put that together, they reclaimed the land, constructed the pool and decided that listen with this reclaimed land then we can have a, a pool of this size and the best size was an olympic size which is 50 meters by 25. so aside of having the size once you have the size you need to decide that uh, whether you want to have all the amenities which make it fina standard and you know fina is federation uh, international de natation that's the football uh, uh, it was should i call the fifa the fifa for swimming okay so yes they decided to have it and then the commitment was there, the drive was there, and what did we get? Aside of the pool and the depth which is required, because an Olympia, a FINA approved pool must have a minimum depth of 2.2 uh, 2 meters. This is 2.4 meters. It must be between 2, 2 to 3 meters, and this is 2.4. And it's 2.4 all out. There are no areas for revelers. It's, if you are not a swimmer, don't get into this water, first of all. Then secondly, the, the, the timing equipment. You see the yellow parts there. Those are the time. That's the timing equipment. If you if you swim to the end and you touch the pad, it will automatically print your time in the control room. So you see the the, the judges with a, a, a stopwatch. That is just for a, a, a backup. Now what happens is that once your time is printed. The uh, international uh, body, FINA, would recognize that time if it's worth recognizing. For example, if it's a record, then they would, they, they, they would recognize it. And then what, what happens? You get, you get the necessary uh, recognition. Now, with that facility in place, you make sure that all other things are in place. You see, like you see these ropes, they just look like ropes, but some, this one is for false starts. 
when you swim up to this time and the, the, the starter hasn't fired the gun, it means you can continue. But by up to here, the starter can fire his gun and say, false start. And everybody, so all the petty, petty things that it's required to make this pool an international pool is in place. We have the flood lightning and everything. So it's taking a lot of time, it's taking a lot of thinking, and I must say that we all need to congratulate Transport Emporium and its main uh, shareholder, the, the, the Social Security and National Insurance uh, Trust, SNIT, for the, for the commitment to, to, to deliver this to Ghana. I mean, just around the corner, like you said, you have the Ghana Africa Zone 2 Swimming Championships. And Ghana has been selected to host this. Having done this as, as a local competition, already this local competition meets the African standard and meets the world standard. So at least it's a dress rehearsal for, the, for that competition. We don't have any fears any longer that we would not be able to host it. All we need now is that force behind us, behind our athletes, to make sure that they, they win medals. And that's, those, that's the fans. We need to get the fans here so they can give us the necessary support. Listen, I have watched people come here as early as 5.30 a.m., 6 a.m. To, to, to practice, the athletes, to practice in the morning to swim. Some come here in the afternoon from about 4.30 and they, they practice swimming. They are putting effort into it. As I stand here, at least I have seen that much effort they have put into it. Okay? So I have a feeling, and it's a good one, that it would make an impact when the games are on. So, first of all, I have, I have a strong feeling it will make an impact. As to the level of impact, let that day come and let's give them the support. Then we can push them on onto, onto areas or into areas where they have not even bothered to tread. And then we, we, we know that maybe with a crowd behind them, somebody can swim better than he's ever done and win a medal. It was a fantastic event, to be honest. Everything was superb from swimming to logistics to handling of facilities, everything. We had everything we could have ever asked for. We couldn't uh, ask for more, basically. Um, personally, my performance was good. Um, obviously, I would expect more of myself because I know what I'm capable of. But I'm happy with this, with what I have right now, which was good performances, silver performances. And um, with the team, outstanding. Um, these kids gave everyone in the team gave everything they could have given even more so I'm, I'm really proud about that and I'm proud about the fact that they pushed themselves to the as limits. Um, pretty much the same where, where we've been going with or without the facilities we still uh, uh, tend to improve you can't just say okay there are no facilities so we're not going to improve you need to improve in the end you are improving yourself not not just anything you are improving yourself and the most important thing is that if you improve yourself you improve the image of the country which is fantastic really good because I need to cheer them so that they can I mean we won't win and we, we, we have it. That's Today's performance is a little bit higher than so the previous. The yeah. So the I hope they will improve women. more. Yeah, I myself am looking forward to quali qualifying for the Olympics in Tokyo 2020. Uh, the, zone, the, the Zone 2 is a qualifying event and I'm looking forward to qualify as many of my athletes, not just my athletes but my friends and many more to Tokyo 2020. Uh, just come come to the Boko Marina on the 5th to 8th. You can come any of these days from 5th to 8th. Uh, you have a wonderful time. You cheer for us and we just need you in our prayers and we'll do our best.